So here's what uh, Hebrews says in verse chapter 12, verse 15. It says, see to it that no, no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. So how does bitterness defile you and other people? First of all, unresolved conflict has a way of defiling oneself and others eventually. So when you, do, when you have this unresolved conflict in your life, unresolved issues with others, you refuse to talk about it, you refuse to go to that person in secret, you refuse to, to, to bring the issue out into the open. So what happens there? First of all, a bitterness develops in you. Your own spiritual life is affected because you don't want to talk about the problem. You, you say at peace at any cost, but the problem is you think you have peace with other people, but the problem is within yourself, you can admit you don't have peace when you have conflict. Are you with me here? It defiles you. And you can admit that when you are not at peace with somebody, when you have not resolved an issue with someone, it can steal your joy and your peace. How many of you would like to have peace in your life, right? You would like to have peace? Then we must be effective in dealing with conflict in relationships well. And the other problem is that it caused defilement of others also. What happens when we have a conflict? Well, first of all, if we don't want to, to, to go do it God's way, by go, as Jesus said, go to your brother or sister and talk to them about it. Right? Lovingly confront them. And, when I, and I mean lovingly confront, it's not to tear them down, not to abuse them with words, not to cause more harm to them than what they have caused you, but rather to lovingly confront them so that they will come to repentance and the, and the relationship is restored and that the other person would become a better person. Are you with me here? So the purpose of, con of, of confrontation is not to, to damage somebody's character, but to uplift them and to bring them to repentance and to bring change into their lives. And so, but the problem that, that often takes place in unresolved conflict is when one refuses to, 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 to deal with conflict effectively, we go and defile others with the problem. We pass on our bitterness to others. We go to, to Brother Mon, I want to tell you something. Don't tell anybody else, huh? Okay? Between you and me. Okay? Secret, huh? You know that guy? He done me a very bad thing. He's a bad, very bad guy, Brother Mon. Don't tell him. Only, you're the only one who knows, Brother Mon. Okay? Brother Bong, don't tell Brother Mon I told you. <laughs> Between you and me, huh? nobody else knows this, right? So you know what happens? Now I have just passed on my bitterness to Brother Mon. I've defiled him. Do you understand that? And I also passed on my bitterness to Brother Bong. And you know what happens? This guy is probably going to go and pass on a little bit of that bitterness to somebody else. <laughs> Are you with me here? So we defile others by our bitterness. When it should have been just between two people, now many people are involved. And everybody shares in the sin. Are you with me here? And that is a really, really serious matter to think about. And that's why Jesus tells us that when we have these kind of issues, we should, not, we should not allow it to defile us and bring us into change or put us into chains in sin, but rather we should deal with it in love. And so Christians must be effective in dealing with conflict. Why is dealing with conflict very important? I want to give you four reasons today. Four reasons, right? Are you with me? Are you interested in this? Why you need to deal with conflict? Why is it very important for you to deal with conflict? I want to tell you in your marriage, in your family with children, 
in your office. Many people sometimes talk to me about conflicts in the office. Sometimes we have people who would talk about conflicts in the home, conflicts with people in the neighborhood, conflicts with people at school, all kinds of conflicts. And they don't know how to deal with their conflicts. They would just choose to not talk to the person anymore, not deal with the problem, you just keep it within themselves and rather try to live with the bitterness and anxiety of it rather than face up to it. But we need to learn how, we need to learn how to deal with and we need to learn the importance of dealing with conflict. Number one, the reason why dealing with conflict is very important is because it reveals the issue and helps us deal with what's wrong right away. Prevents bitterness, right? So we need to know the importance of dealing with conflict because it reveals the issue. If you do not reveal the issue, then it is assumed there is no issue, right? Are you with me here? So it's like if I hurt Brother Mon and I did him something wrong, I said something that hurted him, and if I ask Brother Mon, Brother Mon, are you okay? And Brother Mon says, okay lang. It's assumed that Brother Mon was never hurt and there is no problem and Brother Mon is okay, right? So the next time again, Brother Mon is okay with it, so I will hurt him again, assuming that Brother Mon has no problem with that. I can insult Brother Mon as many times as I want, and Brother Mon will smile and take it, and he has no problem with it. So it reveals we must, if there is a, if there is a problem, if there is something, a, a wrong behavior, a wrong attitude that is prevailing, then for us to resolve this conflict, to resolve this issue that may be causing some kind of defilement and trouble within our spirit, we need to first reveal it. The other person has to know <laughs> what's going on in your heart. And that's why Jesus tells them, if your brother has sinned against you, go and reveal it to him, right? Go and tell him. There is a problem between you and me. What problem? I didn't know there was a problem. Yes, the last time, you and I met and you did this or said that, you wronged me, right? And so it reveals the issue. It helps us deal with what's wrong right away. So if somebody has wronged you, don't smile and say, okay lang, sige na. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I hurted you. No, okay lang, it's okay lang, sige na, okay na. And then go away and then tell others, you know, that person hurted me, right? when you had the opportunity to say it in the first place. Are you with me here? <laughs> Did you experience this? So in a non-confrontational society, sometimes and often, this takes place where because of the sake of peace, for the sake of we think that, hey, I might lose this friend, so I'll just put up with all the, the, the wrong attitudes and the behavior and the misgivings, for the sake of keeping the relationship instead of bringing to light the real problems at hand. So dealing with conflict, with urgency in love reveals the issues and helps us deal with what's wrong right away. And it will prevent you from a growing bitterness in your heart 